Hello, so today we're going to talk about how to install Axiom from start to finish. You can see we're here on my website and we're going to find the download section and we're going to enter our email address. Like so, and click download. This will bring us to a Dropbox location and we need to download both of these files. So I'll click download. Now that's done, we can close out of here and navigate to our downloads directory. So you can see we get the zip file now. I'm going to right click and extract all. We can extract here, that's fine. So now we get are these two files. One is the Axiom resources folder, which contains things like scripts, plugins, OTLs, um, everything we want to actually load into Houdini. And then this JSON file, which tells Houdini what versions of those OTLs and plugins and scripts we want to load, depending on what version of Houdini we're launching. So what we need to do is move both of these files into a location that Houdini can actually find. So I'm going to navigate to my documents folder. And if you launched Houdini at least once, you should get a preferences folder like so. And this is a place that we can put our resources and tools that we want to use so that Houdini can actually find it. And we want to put these two files into a location called packages. But as you can see, that doesn't exist yet. So we can just create it. New folder, call it packages. Move our two files into this packages folder and then click and drag it into our preferences directory, like so. So now, next time we launch Houdini, it'll actually recognize this packages folder and look for things to load. So now we can close out up here. And now we can launch Houdini. Cool. So now we can drop down a geom node. And now in soft, we can type Axiom. And you'll see we have all the tools loaded in. So I'll drop down an Axiom solver. I'll get an Axiom source shape. Plug that into the second input. And you can see the solver is working no problem. And that's it. Installing Axiom really is just that simple. And it's pretty much the exact same steps on Linux and Mac OS. Um, I'll put up a little um, place to find the preferences directory on those locations uh, right now. Um, just so you know where to put those files. But other than that, it's pretty much the exact same steps.